Starting July 1st, 2013, new HOS rules take effect. The new rules cover a range of issues. We have created how-to videos for each of the two major changes which affect OTR drivers. This one for the changes to the 34-hour restart rules, and check out the previous one for the 30-minute break rule. Under the new provisions, the restart length remains at 34 hours, but has to include two back-to-back -back periods from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. This means that your time off to restart your hours to zero may exceed 34 hours. Let's look at some examples. Let's say you shut down to begin your restart on Monday at 6 p.m. Under the old rules, you'd be able to restart your hours to zero at 4 a.m. Wednesday, which is 34 hours from the start of your time off. Under the new rules, in this example, you need to stay off duty an extra hour until 5 a.m. Wednesday to complete the second full 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. provision. The second big change is you can only restart once within a seven day period. You need to let at least 168 hours pass from the start of your restart to be eligible to restart again to zero. If you have more than one period which can qualify as a restart within seven days, you need to declare which one is valid. Only the valid one will restart your hours to zero. The others do not and are just part of your normal duty cycle. In this example, we can declare either the first or the second period as a valid restart. The first restart period, the 7th, 8th, and 9th, can work within our normal duty cycles because the days preceding it are legal within the 70 hour in 8 days and 60 hours in 7 day recap rules. In this next example, we need to declare our first period, 7th, 8th, and 9th, valid because between the two restart periods, we exceed our allowed hours of service within our normal duty cycle on the 12th. The first restart period needs to reset our hours to zero to stay compliant. We are not eligible to restart to zero the second time, 13th, 14th, and 15th, and it just remains as part of our normal duty cycle. The new restart provisions add complication to managing our hours of service. How you should operate your logbook depends on your specific circumstance. You may need to start communicating your available hours to your dispatch if you're not already doing so. And when you recap your hours daily, follow how your hours work with and without restarting your hours to zero. Remember, restarting your hours to zero isn't mandatory by law. It's one of the tools made available to manage our hours of service. You can operate within the normal seven and eight day cycles. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, share it and tell a friend.